Alright, chat, I'm back. Hi, everyone. Hi. Trust the process. One month in a row. Yo, Ezra, thank you for the prime. Or or Zara, thank you for the prime. And Pope John Balls, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Alright, boys, this game. A child's word. This game we're against the Shen matchup, and this is um this is gold chat. We're getting to higher and higher elo slowly, but over time. Let me close my door. The charger? Move it. No, that one. No, the other one. What do you want? This one? Yeah. Here. Thank you. So chat, just like every other game, a just like every other game chat, we're gonna be in this. To we're gonna be in this river area, and we're gonna ward over this blue buff wall to see blue buff and grump at 120 every game. If we're not able to, because they're guarding it, then we ward it right here. Between 120 to 130 every single game, you wanna ward it here. But you a click into bushes that way. If someone's in the bush, you get first strike immediately, because a clicking means that whenever you walk into something, you're gonna immediately attack whatever's closest to you. Not my soul. Ready? Let's do this chat together. When our passive's up, that's when we're gonna Never walk forward to this guy. Ready? Right. Let's go. Boom. We went auto Q auto. Now it might not be that good because of taunt, but it's fine. I didn't have to Q him right away. Chen used this ward in this bush, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm not gonna Q for minions. That's the way. We wanna use Q for him when he's and we're gonna punish him whenever he goes for minions. You see that ward that we placed earlier, chat? It's helping us a lot right now. You see him? Let's see what he does. Is he walking to Gromp or is he walking top? He's walking to Gromp, okay. That's really good news for us because that means that he's not going to gank us yet and we can help our jungler take crab. Nunu is aware of this information too because of that word that we placed. Ear to ear. Now you might be saying, why did you flash so early like that? He hit level 3 off of the cannon. So by flash and instantly igniting, it made it so that the turret instantly tanked me. So I instantly tank so that he doesn't level up to level 3 and we get the kill. Because if he goes to level 3, he unlocks his W, he blocks my Q or auto, we don't kill him. We found a slight opening, we took advantage of it, we buy Sheen, Boots, lock, uh, Control Ward, and then we come back to lane. Sheen, Boots, Control Ward, Orange, walk back in, Control or Crushing Potion, walk back in, and now we walk out. We're gonna place control ward right here at the edge of the bush, not in the middle, not over here, because we don't want Shen to auto it. And if Shen autos it, we want him to auto at the very far edge. That way he feels more uncomfortable and that way he might be susceptible to getting ganked. I am that makes sense, chat. Of salt and brine. So I'm talking with Dumpan to think of their prime and joy and think of the prime as well. Appreciate it. Place a barrel very soon. Barrel. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. Okay, that was cringe. We could have killed him, but I canceled seven autos. But it's okay because we still got his flash. I canceled seven thousand auto attacks. But whenever he places his W down, chat, you should not be trying to auto him. You should be either doing one of two things: trying to place barrels, or if you're not placing barrels. Then you should be trying to cue him the second he comes out of it, his um, W. We don't need a recall. How do you show the range of your ability? It's normal cast. 
I don't recommend you play with it. I recommend you play with whatever you're comfortable learning. Or however you learn the game. Now, you guys notice how the Shen plays? He E's on us immediately. He doesn't try to go for a Q trade. So, knowing that information, watch this. Watch what I'm going to do. Because I know how he plays now. I'm going to thin the wave. Our wave's in a bit of an ugly spot. Well, I failed. Unlucky. Okay. Unlucky, I failed. Go next. How do I know to ult? I see all of the champion portraits on top of each other. Cue the cannon. We're in a very awkward spot to the point that we could just recall. Next wave is not cannon. We recall in cannon waves always. Orange there for the Sheen call. After he uses abilities and we outtime them, it's very easy to tell he's dead because he has no cooldowns. Whenever you're playing any match, you always pay attention to cooldowns. Cooldowns are always going to be what determines whether you can take a trade or not. Shen used his E, W, Q. He has nothing else. He's just a giant cannon minion. Don't look at him as Shen, look at him as a cannon minion. It's a cannon minion, then you can just beat its ass, right? Because it can't fight back. Same thing there. Aurelia, when she uses her E and her ulti and she has like zero stacks, then she's just a cannon minion. Um, Darius, if he has no pull, he's a cannon minion. He can't kill you because your Q outranges all of his abilities. Same with Urgot. Colton, thank you for the prime. You know you love you, you know you Thank you, bro. So watch this. Barrel auto Q is a very important to learn at level seven, boys. I had a Q ready. I got very lucky crits. There was there is nothing else about it. Lucky crit. Can't lie to you. Normally it'd be best to freeze here, but I kind of want to recall for my sheen. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull this wave and then recall. And I might be saying, but what does pulling this wave do? It's gonna make it so the wave slow pushes back to me, so I can set a freeze back in the same spot. But I'm gonna have Trinity Force. We place a ward in this push just in case Lockhart tries to lane gank us. Then when we place the control ward, we're gonna place a control ward in this push, and then that way we have two gank areas covered. He can't gank us from here, he can't gank us from the lane because we have both areas warded, we have the lane frozen. If Shen ever taunts in, then we know we can kill him because no jungler is near and he has no cooldowns and we have Essence Reaver over him. All these things are pre-thought out of, pre-thought of. They're not reactionary. The big problem if you're trying to learn GP is not actually playing reactionary, although that is something that you can do. Look at the wave, you see this by the way, it's slow pushing it to me. It's planning ahead. Paint the docks in their blood. Because I have red buff and I know that I can bully this Shen forever. What I'm gonna end up doing is just shoving him under turret. When he autos this barrel, we kill him. Oh, we don't need to use Ignite. Okay, thank you. If he didn't listen, it's not the biggest deal in the world. But 9 times out of 10, if you're super ahead, your jungler will be more likely to listen to you. 
the end of the shop phone. People are like, but my team doesn't listen to me. It's but like, how ahead are you? Does it matter how ahead you are? Should they still listen to you? Probably, right? But it's solo queue. And in solo queue, if, if the guy is 0 and 5 or 0, 0, 0 or only 1 kill, no one's gonna listen to him. Guy who's 10 kills, everyone's gonna listen to him. They're gonna be like, oh my god, this guy's smurfing. So. Watch this double sheen proc here coming in a second when he goes on this cannon. We wait for the passive over here to run out. Now watch this. Don't panic, cool calm collected, dead. Just like that. We instantly orange his taunt that way and not a single auto on us goes towards Shen so we never tank the turret. And I already know that he's gonna want to use his W because he's panicking. Something if this was a higher elo game I would use S key instead to make him panic. Similar to Fiora Perry, it always makes them I rarely forget. panic use their abilities for W. And now we buy Prowlers. Champion ports on top, top of each other, we look for ulti. Preemptively ulting, because I know the fight's gonna break out. If we lose the fight, it is what it is, but I did what I could to help. We get to top lane, we can look to buy a serpent thing if we want, but it'd just be for one person, so maybe not ulting this one. Orange, where's Nocturne? We ping him for our teammates, he's on Dragon. They can't see Nocturne, but they can see our pings. That's why it's good to orange Nocturne like that. No death will be their reward. Another I messed that up, but it's fine. After he's all his abilities, I already know. Words mean nothing. Flesh carries we buy scanner. That way we can take over the game and we go what? combo did you do to kill Shen? Prowlers auto Q. <laughs> it's a really insane combo. I auto attacked him and then I queued him then I auto attacked him again and he died. Walk back, walk back, walk back. Three, two, one. Okay, vision has died and now we walk back. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Look at this GPL by the way. I did 524 to the Kaisa. We one shot Blitz. We got first strike as well. Reading movement is the reason why I get that kill. Powder. 
Never trust a film right. <laughs> No crits. I also messed up my one part backwards, but it's fine. I'm far from done killing. Armor, armor, armor. But we're so far ahead, we one shot them. Now, never do this, chat, because odds are you're probably not going to be four levels up on the enemy opponent. Always go LDR here. LDR doesn't mean much for me here, simply because their their health values are so low that LDR actually doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything different. Like if they have like two rubies on top of all the armor that they're building right now, it means something, but they don't. In other words, a crit right now from Collector will one shot them, whereas LDR will leave them at like 10 H 100 HP. And I'll show you guys that. I can show you it here. <laughs> that didn't crit, but if it crit, he would have died regardless. I am reborn of salt in CC'd hard there. Well, he is ignite though, we chill. I probably should have probably took Blitz instead of Fizz.